Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is JS Graphics. Today I will share with you guys how you can mock up your designs using Photopea. Although I've made a video before on this, but um, most of my subscribers usually come to my able saying they don't understand it. They don't know where to find their smart objects, their layers and the rest. Today I'm going to give you guys a simple explanation on how you can get all this done in minutes so if you are new to my channel consider liking this video subscribing and as well sharing the video to your friends who might be interested in learning this also don't forget to turn on the bell icon so you can get notification or you can get notified whenever i release any video all right so one thing about uh, one thing i like about mockup is that mockup is an already made project it's an already made um photoshop and um, file with the accurate effects, with the accurate shadow effect, and all the other things that makes it look good. It, has some, it is something that is already made by uh, a professional graphic designer. So all you need to do is just to place your um, to place your designs and those effects will be reflected on your design and then makes it look professional and neat. You don't need to stress yourself in making any effects, um, fixations and the rest. So all right. Um. So what I'm going to do now is to head to my Chrome, and then open Photo P, which and then I'll guide you guys through how you do this real quick. All right. So this is my browser, and um, what I will do is just to head head to this place and then type in photop.com. All right. So this will load, and then you will see this. All right. Wait for it to load before we continue. So as you can see, this has loaded. So all I need to do now is to hit my files. So this is files. This is files. And then for the layers, if you don't see your layers, you can head over to here. As you can see, you can head over to here. Here you have your windows. So this windows, you can see all the properties that appears in the artboard. You can see colors, you can see glimpses, you can see the rest. So if you, this layers, if you can see your layers, you just head there and then enable this. As you can see, this is already enabled. So you head to this place and make sure your layer is enabled. All right. So what I will do from here is to head to my um, file, this file. So I'll click on this file and I will click on open. Open makes you to upload an already existing file. Why new leads you to a new um, window where you will get to um, start your design afresh. So we are not going to be clicking on this new. We are just going to click on open. Remember, this works on any smartphone. So you just need to click on this open. And this will lead you straight to your folder. Straight to your folder. And then you hit your folder. And then before you do this, make sure you have the... Um, the mock-up file, the PSD uh, file, or any other files formats that you want to mock up. So you click on these files, and this lists you straight to your storage. So what you do next is to go to your downloads or wherever your um your PSD file is saved, and then you click on that. Okay, for this tutorial, I'll be making use of this 3D glass, this 3D glass um mock-up, right? So I'll click on this. I'll click on this and then wait for it to open. So I'll click on this 3D glass. As you can see, you are having this. This is a JPEG format of this PSD format. So if I if I'm to load this now, I will only see this picture, but I want to be able to edit this um, picture. So for me to load a, an editable format, I will need to check for the um the one that has dot PSD, which is this. Which is the editable file? If, if, if I'm to check the name of this now, if I'm to check the name, you will see that um, you see that this in full is in dot psd 3D glass window dot psd. So I just have to click this one that has the psd, and then I'll wait for it to load. All right. So let's wait for this to load. All right. As you can see, this has actually loaded. If you look at this, you will see the tools, you will see the tools, you see the tools, you see the move to and the rest. In case if you want to design, you can actually make any of any of this. You can see the test tool and then make your design. So now you click on here, which is the layers. This is the layers. As you can see, my layers are enabled. My layers are enabled here. That's why I am seeing all this. All right. So as you can see, you will see um all the effects they use, the lights. As you can see, these are what they use. So you don't need to um 
start this afresh, you just need to place your designs and it will reflect. You can see the effects and everything used. You understand? So these are not necessary. These are not necessary for now. So make it of just this um, place where your logo is. So you can, you will saw in some designs, you see your logo. And sometimes you see place your design and the rest. You just see something like this. That is asking you to place your design. So what you need to do is to double click on this, this um, small box and um, this small square here. You double click this and then wait for it to open. As you can see, it has opened another layer, which shows the initial design before the um, effect, before marking it up, before the effects. So, right? so what you need to do is just to delete this or you hide this and then import your already made design. So this design, you can make this design using Pixel Lab or make it using any um, other softwares or apps, uh, designing apps you know. But all you need to do is uh, make sure that those designs are in PNG format. So now I'm just going to hide it. What, is, what are PNG format? PNG format uh, means that it is without a background. The, uh, the design are transparent, all right? So I'm just, I'll just need to hide this. So I'll just need to hide this and then I'll head to my files and then I'll click on open and place. If I click on open and place, it leads me straight to my um, gallery, just this way. And then I will need to select a PNG file in which I would like to mock up. So I just need to head to Pixel Lab and search for, um, just need to head to Pixel Lab and then I'll search for a PNG file that I will upload. So I just need to search on my designs. To check if I can see a PNG file. All right, so search for a PNG file. All right, so as you can see, this is a PNG file. This was um a design I made for a client. So I'll make I'll upload this. I'll just wait for it to load. So this is a waste of time, right? Because I think uh, there is a poor network in this uh, place I am. So now as you can see, this is without a background, it's just transparent. So what I will need to do now is to head to this same file and then I will click on save as what? Smart object, all right? So I just need to click on this save as smart object and wait while um, Photo P works on my design and saves it as a smart object. So we just need to wait. Let um let them work on it. All right. So guys, consider liking the video, subscribing, and as well sharing to your friends. Don't forget to turn on the bell icon as well. Thank you. So you just need to wait for this to load before we proceed. So as you can see, it has updated um your design with the um with the mockup. So to see this, you just need to click on this 3D glass one. So just click it and then wait while your design shows on, on the glass. All right. So this works for any mock-up designs, anything you want to mock up. Just the same procedure works best for them. As you can see, this has reflected and um, this is it. You can actually decide to hide, hide the light effect. You just need to head to the light and then you hide this. Can decide to hide this and um, you get this right, and then you can decide to leave it the way it is, and then this is just great, all right. So what you do next is to is to save this, is to save this. So you click on files and to save, just click on export. You can export this as PNG or as um, PDF, depending on how you want to present it. So I'll just choose um PNG or JPEG, all right. So I'll choose PNG and then I'll wait while it loads my design. All right. I'll wait while it loads my design. So as you can see, it has loaded. And what I just need to do is to save it. You can actually change the size to the size you want, depending on how you want to present it. And then you save. So you download. This is actually... um free to do and then you open so this gives you your design so um so guys don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching see you guys next in my next tutorial